Hi guys, it's Ray. We are starting a new cup today. We are going to use my Let's Resin Mica Powder 36 color pack again. That's the box. Uh, I'm going to use today the one labeled gold, the one labeled seashell, and the one labeled cyan because I figured that would pull in nicely off of this decal. Peace, Love, and Coffee. This one is from Gracefully Created. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to get my turner turned on. And I'm going to get a coat of resin on. A relatively thin coat. I do intend for some of the black to stay on this one. We'll see. Pretty sure I said that last time and didn't. So, but this is a black painted 20 ounce curve. Um, that decal just happens to be thin enough that it'll just, just fit at the top of the curve if I trim it really well. Um, so this is a 20 ounce curve from Maker Flow. So I'm just going to get a clear coat. I figured I'd do something different with this coffee decal than my, you know, coffee swirl or whatever. Um, I really enjoyed having some pre-made decals on hand. So, um, I've actually um, started working with a new supplier. She's not new, but she's new to me. Um, but she owns Butterfly Lane Designs. And she has provided me with a link and a coupon code. So if you want to check out her decals, I will put her link in the description as well. And my coupon code in the description as well. Um, so if you were looking for ready-made decals, um, that's probably going to be my new go-to all-the-time place. I will have an unboxing shortly up and ready. And then obviously her decals and vinyls and things ready to go. She does take custom orders, which is really nice if there's something you want. Um, so she has an email on her website for that. She is starting to do subscription boxes, which I checked out, which look really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to work with her. So I'm going to mix in my cyan. I'm just going to mix in all my colors. And then I'll come back to the talking. Okay, so these are all mixed. The only thing I didn't look for was like more of a brown. Um, but I feel like this color palette is really great for this decal. So, um, I did mix up more of the lightest color. I do have my heat gun ready. But I don't really want to put a ton of heat to this one. I more just kind of want it to flow on its own and kind of do its own thing. And like I said, leave some more of the black negative space. So I'm kind of trying to decide how I want to move these. Um, <clears throat> if I really want to heat them with the heat, the torque, the heat gun, or just 
kind of torch it a little bit. Let's see if it'll start to flow on its own. I'm going to kind of hold it pretty far back. And it's starting to run off, which means it's plenty warm enough. So I'm going to tip it back the other way. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of let that spin and do its thing. Um... I don't know why I just put my turner back down on that. I'll tilt it down again for a second. Alright, so I'm going to figure out which turner this was. I'm going to change its flow from away from me to towards me. And I am going to let this dry overnight. And what we get is what we get. Okay, this is dry and ready, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to get the decal on it. I really like the way this swirled through here, so I don't want to cover that. I'm going to put the decal on this area. So I have my decal. And this is a clear printed over white, so it does have an edge. I'm going to trim it pretty close to my image because I do know my spacing is going to be a little bit tight. So I'm going to get as close as humanly possible. Trim it down. Let's see, it's going to like just hit the curve. So I may actually cut a little slit in here just so I can manipulate the image a bit more. Let's see how this goes. And I actually just ripped the backer in half. So that I can kind of um, apply it in sections, sort of. I may even lift this up and split the word coffee in half. Fussy cut scissors for this, but that way my text is completely flat. Okay, so you can see where that actually nudged over a little bit. That's what I was cutting those slits for, was to give it room to 
move a little bit if it needed to. But I absolutely love that. It's a different take on a coffee tumbler than, like I said, a traditional swirl or anything else. So we're going to get this back over to the turner and we're going to get a coat of epoxy on it and it will be done. Absolutely adorable. Okay, my epoxy is mixed up, so we're just going to get a coat on. Okay, so that is it. This is stuck to this paper. So bring the paper with us. Peace, love, and coffee. Mike is a show pretty when they swirl because they don't blend together. They keep their own individual color. So even on these tiny swirls, you can pick out the color. Absolutely love this one. Swirl at the bottom. I think this is cool how this swirled and bursted from it. So, there's the decal. Again, this one is from Gracefully Created. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, all of that stuff. If you want to see my videos, make sure you click the notification bell. Um, it very much helps me out and I'd appreciate it. So, Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.